All right, so after this embarrassment, decided to fix something. All right, got the battery hooked up to a trickle charger, right where I can uh, trip over it. And I've been looking for this, I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but this, the window wind up thing, where the handle attaches to, that's just eaten away. It's broken, I cannot, attach this and work the window but look what I found I've been looking for this thing for two years <laughs> and I just happened to just, just type it in, in on eBay and some guy was sell, selling it for $65 used one obviously they don't make them new I don't think and this is the guy I actually even made an offer for for 55 or whatever it was and well I got it because we're looking at it so I'm gonna remove this door panel and uh, try to install that all right guys so after removing the panel this is what you got Removing the panel is very easy. You got a screw here, which is a Phillips in my case. 3 8 here, 3 8 here. And this comes off. And you got the handle. In my case, it's a flat head inside there. And if you have one of these, then there's another little screw, machine screw inside there. And then you got these lovely clips on the bottom, which I only had two. And I broke one, so now I only have one. This is the broken one, this is the clip. I think they do have these online. I'm gonna to have to buy a set. So, got to look and I got more parts for this window regulator wind up thing. I have this, which is this guy here. I don't need that. It's in here. Some brackets and stuff. Let me those. This is where I got it from, by the way. Facebook and eBay. There we go. So I only need this. And so this is the window is closed now. And this will go like that. Here. So I got a drill, you got three mounting points here, got to drill those rivets out and then I can maybe use 10 mil bolts, excuse me, half inch, half inch bolts or three eighths, almost there, went metric there. And this should attach right here, so I can probably just most likely just slide this out to the right or left, whatever. All right, let's do that. Let's drill these out. Are these even rivets? These may be bolts. No, they are rivets. Yeah, you are the weird looking rivet. All right, let's get to drilling. So it's been about 15 to 20 minutes. Don't forget to block your window. It will drop down as soon as you take these two out. So what I've done was using this tool flattened first, flattened the rivets, you know, basically those little studs that were sticking out. Then took a punch, made a little hole center in each one, took a small size drill bit, drilled right through. Then a bigger size drill bit went through, then took a punch or something like this, chisel, sharpened it, hammered it right through, you know, this way, and then this one, this guy was the hardest. And uh, still had to use cutters to grab it and pull it out. So now we're ready to take that out. Thank you. 
Now, where am I going to go with this? Probably through here. Oh no, my block of wood is in the way. At this point you can compare the part numbers, which they are exactly the same. This says SYD4ZB692. Grease this up later. Almost lines up. Maybe, probably because of the window. Gotta bring that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna probably most likely just install small bolts with nuts. And call it a day. Test number one. window like that well that's fine with me so now I gotta order these clips wait for them 20 uh, or 40 days and then I'm gonna be able to put the skin back on the door meanwhile I'm gonna probably install the seat <sighs> no not done not even close so as soon as I close the door with the window up I get a gap of three inches at least then one other thing I've noticed was that the window when you wind it up it's not as easy as going down so I took it out All right this guy is the the old guy this guy is the old new guy and let me know if you can tell the difference. I'm going to give you a minute. Can you see it? All right, so look at the top. See how this one angles this way and this one angles this way. And by the way, this spring was the other way. So this part was wrapped around the right side meaning when going up it was creating tension when going down it was unwinding so it made it easy so i already flipped the spring okay really easy put it in the vise took these pliers grabbed it right here you know took it off put it back on done deal but still if I were to take this apart, I had to drill these out, you know, or maybe even these two. This is all, it's, you know, it's one piece, is what I'm saying. Although the part numbers are, diff are uh, exactly the same on both pieces, I just, I don't know, get I, I don't know. Is it, is it because Ford? I know Ford likes to do things like this. I don't see any other numbers on any of the other parts so is that part number just for this silver piece or is it the whole thing or they're trying to play a joke on us or what 
anyways I could maybe try and drill these out these three and remove just this oh yeah and this is actually longer this sticks out about half an inch beyond the door skin so if I put that handle on I get a gap of at least half an inch between the door skin and the handle I'm willing to live with that you know but that window's got to close all the way up so if I were to remove these two or maybe at least this one I could then well I would have to remove it fully drill a hole next to it and then attach it there but then what am I going to weld it back you know limited room on here I could probably just weld it back just so to move this a bit to the left or what I could do so it mounts this way right let's say it's installed what I've noticed was mounted on this hole here and then move this part up because this this side is flexible you know it doesn't matter this side here it doesn't matter if it's you know if it's if the when the window is all the way up if it ends up here or here or whatever as long as it's inside the track and the window is up this is fine so i was thinking the, the easy way is push it up while this one is mounted and then just drill holes maybe half an inch above the original holes i already checked i actually slept on it this is the second day or next day yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna put it back as is and make new holes all right one heck job done so went up this much all the way as far as i could this one is still its its original spot this one should feel right at home right now the window is all the way well it does go all the way down as you can see it is easier when going up because of that spring switch and you know obviously the weather stripping is missing but this should be good before it was right up to here
All right, guys, test drive successful. All good. Oil temperature or oil pressure was about 50, 60. Coolant water temperature, 190. Now the rattle noise, that was the, the trim inside. Didn't feel like removing it. The passenger seat is in. Got to clean it up a little bit. Somehow I got to figure out how to drive this through the firewall. And it's this guy here. That's a big guy to be going through a firewall. Nice. Fuel filter is... I still got to replace this fuel line. All the, There's a little kink down there. I'm going to try and make a full steel line. Or at least, you know, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I don't know what I'm going to do next. No idea at this point. There's a few small issues. No, not issues, but uh, stuff that I got to take care of, including that self-parking feature. The power steering pump is new, but it's a, you know, a China knockoff. So that could be the issue. Probably is. The wreck and pinion is also new, but I would start with the power steering pump. All right, consider subscribing, like the video if you did. Don't like the video if you didn't. See ya soon.